in this video, let me consider one numerical and overlap and add method. Find the response of an LTI system with an impulse response is h of n is equal to 3 to 1 for the input x of n using overlap and add method use 8 point circular convolution. So here it is said to use 8 point circular convolution it means that n is equal to 8. Here h of n consists of 3 samples that, that is 3 to 1. So the length of h of n is represented by m which is equal to 3 and x of n is having 12 samples. Therefore that is known as length of the sequence ls is equal to 12. So in overlap and add method we have to divide x of n into different blocks having the size of each block should be n is equal to 8. For that we supposed to calculate l that is l is calculated using the formula l is equal to n minus m plus 1 that is l is equal to 8 minus 3 plus 1 which is equal to 6. So now this l is equal to 6 indicates that while dividing the x of n into sub blocks each sub block consists of 6 samples of x of n followed by m minus 1 samples of zeros. That is now I will divide this x of n into different blocks. Let me my first block is say x1 of n. It should consist of l samples of x of n. So l is equal to 6. So let me consider 6 samples of x of n. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 samples 2 minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and 5 followed by m minus 1 zeros m is 3 so 3 minus 1 is 2 2 zeros so now we can see that the size of this x1 of n is 8 it's supposed to be 8 now again we'll divide x of n into another block say x2 of n now it consists of next l samples of x of n so already first six samples we have, we have to consider we have already considered now I have to take next six samples. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is we have 6 minus 1, 2, 0, 2, 1 followed by m minus 1, 0. That is 0, 0. So now here we can observe that after two blocks all the samples of x of n is considered. Therefore we no need to divide this block further. So only we will be having only two blocks. Next step is we have to make the length of h of n is also equal to 8. So that can be done by adding l minus 1 zeros to h of n. Therefore now new h of n is equal to we have 3, 2, 1 followed by l minus 1 zeros. l is 6, 6 minus 1 is 5. We have to add 5 zeros. So now we can see that length of h of n is also 8. So now we have to perform the circular convolution between x1 of n and h of n, then x2 of n and h of n. Now let me calculate the first circular convolution that is y1 of n. Let it be equal to x1 of n with h of n. So here n is equal to 8. So let me compute the circular convolution using matrix method. matrix method I will use matrix method so it is n is equal to 8 we have 8 samples that is y1 of 0 y1 of 1 y1 of 2 y1 of 3 we have y1 of 4 y1 of 5 y1 of 6 and y1 of 7 is equal to v how so first write x1 of n in vertical way that is 2 minus 1 minus 1 2 minus 1 minus 1 then we have minus 2 minus 3 minus 2 minus 3 
we have 500 500 now we have to rewrite the same sequence x of n in reverse way that is 0 0 5 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 minus 1 that is 0 0 5 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 then minus 1 so now we have to represent this sample here this sample here this sample here it will be shifted like this minus 3 this is minus 2 this is minus 1 likewise it should be continued here it is minus 1 2 0 0 5 minus 3 minus 2 this minus 1 is written here this minus 1 is written here 2 is written here 0 0 5 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 minus 1 2 0 0 5 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 minus 1 2 0 0 this is 5 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 minus 1 2 0 last row is 0 5 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 minus 1 it is 2 so now we have to write here the h of n sequence h of n is 3 2 1 all are zeros that is 3 2 1 0 0 0 0 0 so now we need to perform matrix multiplication between these two matrices is equal to so here we can observe that h of n consists of only first three samples next all samples are zero so it is enough if you multiply the row versus only with first three samples because next three will be zero only so two into three is six plus zero into two is zero 0 into 1 is 0 rest all are zeros i will i will not write that here minus 1 into 3 is minus 3 2 into 2 is plus 4 0 into 1 is plus 0 rest all are zeros minus 1 into 3 that is minus 3 minus 1 into 2 is minus 2 2 into 1 is plus 2 minus 2 minus minus 2 into 3 is minus 6 we have minus 2 we have minus 1 minus 3 into 3 that is minus 9 minus 4 we have minus 1 then 5 into 3 15 minus 6 we have minus 2 then 0 into 3 0 plus 10 we have minus 3 then 0 plus 0 5 into 1 is 5 which in turn equal to we can write it as it is 6 this is 1 this is minus 3 this is minus 9 this is 14 this is 7 this is also 7 and this is 5 so this is the circular convolution between x1 of n and h of n now similarly we have to perform y2 of n that is x2 of n h of n let me calculate that y2 of n is equal to x2 of n circular convolution with h of n now let me write y2 of n matrix y2 of 0 y2 of 1 y2 of 2 y2 of 3 y2 of 4 y2 of 5, y2 of 6, y2 of 7. Is equal to. So now write y2 of n sequence that is 6 minus 1, 2, 0. 6 minus 1, 2, 0 in vertical way. 2, 1, 0, 0. We have 2, 1, 0, 0. 
Now write the same sequence in reverse order. That is 0, 0, 1, 2, 0, 0, 1, 2. We have 0, 2, minus 1. 0, 2, minus 1. So it is also having 8 samples. The last sample, we have to ignore this sample because already it is exist here. So now shift 6 here. This should be shifted here. 0, 1, 2, 0. This is 2. Minus 1, 6, 0, 0, 1. It is 2, it is 0. Here it is 2, minus 1, 6, 0, 0, 1, 2. Here it is 0, 2, minus 1, 6, 0, 0, 1. It is 2, 0, 2, minus 1, 6, 0, 0, 1, 2, 0, 2, minus 1, 6, 0, 0, 1, 2, 0, 2, minus 1, 6. So now we are right the H of N sequence that is 3, 2, 1, all are zeros. That is 3, 2, 1, rest all are zeros. Now let me multiply these two matrices. So I'll multiply this row with this column with only first three samples because any of next all samples will be zero. That is 6 into 3 is 18 plus 0 plus 0 then we have minus 1 into 3 minus 3 plus 12 plus 0 then 2 into 3 is 6 minus 2 plus 6 then 0 plus 4 minus 1 then 2 into 3 is 6 plus 0 plus 2 then 1 into 3 3 plus 4 plus 0, then 0, plus 2, plus 2, 0, plus 0, plus 1 into 1 is 1. So, which is equal to, so we have, it is 18, so it is 9, it is 10, we have 3, we have 8, we have 7, 2 plus 2 is 4, and it is 1. This is y2 of n sequence. Now let me write y1 of 1 sequence here for reference. y1 of n is equal to, we have 6, 1, minus 3, 6, 1, minus 3, minus 9, minus 14, minus 9, minus 14 we have 775 7 7 5 let me write y2 of n sequence which is 18 9 10 18 9 10 3 8 7 3 8 7 then we have 4 1 4 1 now let me write the final output sequence that is y of n. So now here m value is 3 that is m is equal to 3. We have to add last m minus 1 samples of first block with the first m minus 1 samples of next block that is 7 should be added with 18, 5 should be added with 9. Here the first is 6 samples I will write as it is that is 6, 1, minus 3, minus 9, minus 14, minus 7. Now this 7 is added with 18 that is 25. Then 5 should be added with 9 that is 14. Now we have to write the remaining samples of y2 of n as it is that is 10, 3, 8, 7, 4, 1. So this is the final output sequence y of n.
Thank you for watching.